We lose seven men a day every day, two women every day. That's nine Aussies that woke up this morning that won't wake up tomorrow morning. So I started Gotcha for Life in 2016. I lost a friend of mine and I realised how many people worry alone. I realised that there were so many Australians out there that never quite spoke about the stuff that was important to them. They were either burying it down into their guts or they were just throwing it around in their head and they're not quite sure how to talk about it. So Gotcha Life really is, is set up there to be able to have a conversation in a way that it may not be that necessarily easy to start with, but the more you practice it, the more emotional muscle you build, the more mentally fit you become, you're actually then having more of these conversations. And it's simple, really, at the end, we want zero suicides. One of the most important things that I've found on this journey to being more mentally fit and trying to get Aussies more mentally fit is to try to keep it as simple as possible. And I suppose that's what really started Gotcha for Life for me is that everyone's aware now that we've got a problem in this country, but we don't quite have the action that goes with the awareness. And that action has got to be education of everyone to have the words to start the conversation. We put people into these workshops to give them the skills to be able to listen, to give them the skills to be able to talk openly about the stuff that's worrying them. And it's all about having your emotions out there and validated and feeling safe enough to talk about how you truly feel. In the next 10 years, what I'd love to see is a subject called mental fitness. And that should be a, a subject just like maths and English and all the other sort of traditional subjects. And at the moment, we've got a pandemic of people that are lonely, that are disconnected, who are thinking about taking their own life. So let's build something into the curriculum that allows you to learn this stuff, build some emotional muscle, get mentally fit. It's just our opportunity to put something into the school system that's gonna help the kids so much. I really liked how all the boys were really honest with their answers and they were brave enough to express how they're feeling and what's going on with their lives. My favourite part was probably when Devon put the tape on the ground and we all had to stand opposite each other and then she would give us a question like who's going through like a mental health problem right now and we'd all step forward and it just got you to realise that you're not alone, everyone's going through the same thing and everyone was so supportive after that. It should definitely go to other schools. I think it's something that everyone's going to remember and go you know what that was really good, that was very important. It's a given that you're going to have stuff thrown at you in your life which makes it really difficult. There's going to be moments in your life where you don't quite know what to do. You'll be sad, you'll be depressed, you'll be looking at your life going, oh, how's it got to this? We will all get there, every single human being on the planet. So why don't we accept the fact we're going to be human? And if we are going to be human, accept that fact, then don't worry alone. The aim of Gotcha for Life is zero suicides, and I know that's a big call, but one is too many.